Hello and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 320 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Our trivia questions today come from Tinley Park, Illinois, submitted by L&T Ricketts. We've got a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz with 20 questions up front and a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Thank you for watching and let's get started. Question number one. Take two words and arrange them one way and you'll get a Canadian whiskey. If you arrange those two words the other way, you'll get an iconic American soda brand. What are these two words? If you spell it one way, you get Crown Royal, and if you spell it the other way, you get Royal Crown, as in Royal Crown Cola. Question number two. There is a very small landlocked sovereign country between France and Spain with a population of approximately 75,000 people believed to have been created by Charlemagne. What is the name of this country known for its ski resorts and its status as a tax haven? The answer is Andorra. Question number three. With 158 separate stanzas, the Hymn to Liberty is often considered to be the longest national anthem in the world by the length of text. It is the national anthem of which European country that has a population of around 11 million? The answer is Greece. Question number four. What were the names of the two Native American leaders who led the Lakota Sioux and the Cheyenne Warriors in the fight against Lieutenant Colonel George Custer's troops in the 1876 Battle of the Little Bighorn? The answer is Crazy Horse and Sitting Bull. Question number five. Located near the city of Pripyat in the north of the Ukrainian SSR, what was the name of the nuclear power plant that was the site of a nuclear disaster in April of 1986 when the number four reactor exploded? The answer is Chernobyl, or the Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant. Question number six. The association arises from the fact that most of the early ministers were taught in this country. Calvinism is a branch of Protestantism that is most closely associated with which European country? The answer is Switzerland. Question number seven. On March 23rd, 1983, President Reagan introduced a program that was proposed to protect the U.S. from ballistic strategic nuclear weapons. What was this program called? And bonus points if you know what its nickname was. Officially, it was called the Strategic Defense Initiative, but it was nicknamed Star Wars or the Star Wars Program. Question number eight. On February 18th, 2001, during the Daytona 500 at Daytona International Speedway, he was killed in a three-car crash on the final lap of the race. What is the name of the American professional stock car driver whose aggressive driving style earned him the nickname The Intimidator? The 
The answer is Dale Earnhardt. Question number nine. What is the most commonly known name of the Norsemen or the Northmen, members of the Scandinavian seafaring warriors who raided and colonized wide areas of Europe from the 9th to the 11th centuries and whose disruptive influence profoundly affected European history? What are these guys often called? The answer is Vikings. Question number 10. On opening day, a record 8.3 million copies were sold in the U.S., which is over 96 every second, and 2.65 million copies were sold in the U.K. What book, written by J.K. Rowling, holds the record for the fastest selling book in history, selling approximately 65 million copies total? It was the last one, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Question number 11. What popular young adult book series written by Suzanne Collins sends tributes to participate in a televised competition in which they fight to the death? Hint, the main character volunteers as tribute when her younger sister Primrose is initially chosen. Feel like that's a pretty easy hint but if the quiz writers give you a hint i'll read you the hint the answer is of course the hunger games question number 12 invented in the united states by american artist and inventor samuel f morse during the 1930s for electrical telegraphy what four words comprise the first message sent by morse code The first Morse code message was four words. What were they? He typed in, What hath God wrought? Question number 13. The United States is the Star Spangled Banner, written by Francis Scott Key. Canada's is O Canada by Calixa Lavallee. What is the United Kingdom's national anthem that was written by Henry Carey? The UK's national anthem is God Save the King. Question number 14. Known for his roles on Saturday Night Live, National Lampoon's Vacation, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and Vegas Vacation, what actor and comedian appeared playing the bongos in the video for the Paul Simon song, You Can Call Me Al? I've never seen that video, but I guess I got something to look up tonight. The answer is Chevy Chase. Question number 15. First of all, it is not Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas, so don't even guess it. But I will give you a hint. It is the title of a classic Christmas movie as well. Since it is almost that time of year, what is the best-selling Christmas single of all time? It's from Bing Crosby. The answer is White Christmas. Question number 16. C-3PO has been in every major Star Wars movie and often seen with R2-D2. In Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, we find out that the creator of C-3PO was only 9 or 10 years old. What was the name of this creator of C-3PO? At that point, his name was Anakin Skywalker. Question number 17. Starbucks began in 1971 along the cobblestone streets of Seattle's historic Pike Place Market. It was here that Starbucks opened their first store 
offering fresh roasted coffee beans, tea, and spices from around the world for customers to take home. Where is the world's largest Starbucks located now, as of 2023? It is called the Starbucks Reserve Roastery Chicago in Chicago, Illinois. Question number 18, what 1927 film starring Al Jolson and Mae McAvoy about the son of a Jewish cantor who must defy the traditions of his religious father in order to pursue his dream, effectively ended the silent movie era by introducing synchronized talking and singing? This movie, The First Talkie, was called The Jazz Singer. Question number 19. The Great Lakes are divided among the jurisdictions of the Canadian province of Ontario and the U.S. states of Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. Of the U.S. states listed, which state has the longest Great Lakes shoreline? The answer is Michigan. And question 20, giraffes are the tallest land mammals with its males ranging around 16 to 18 feet tall and weighing in as much as 4,200 pounds. What is the most common color of a giraffe's tongue? These big, tall, heavy mammals have purple tongues. Google it. They're weird looking. Purple is the answer, and that is the end of today's quiz. Thank you again to L and T Ricketts who have sent in today's quiz. They have sent in two quizzes, so they've already earned themselves a road trip kit. Hopefully they're enjoying it. If you're driving for the holidays and you have one of these, make sure you bring it with you. You know, it just makes you cooler on the road. You can hold snacks in there. They're perfect for fitting inside the glove box or in between the two front seats. So. Plus, if you go somewhere cool for the holidays and you take a picture with it, you can send it to me and I'll throw it up on one of these videos because I love seeing pictures of people with these road trip kits uh, or in front of their pets. I've got a ton of road trip kits in front of dog pictures. We'll show those uh, one of these days. Here is question 21 though for today. We've seen actors such as Adam West, Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, George Clooney, Christian Bale, and Robert Pattinson all play this caped crusader. But can you name the year that the first Batman comic or graphic novel was published? You've seen all those guys on film. When did the first Batman comic come out? The answer is 1939. So whichever player got closest to 1939 is going to win the point. If it was a tie, they just won the whole game. That's it. Thank you for watching today. Check back tomorrow for another new quiz. Thank you again to L and T Ricketts for excellent trivia questions. See you tomorrow.